Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and welcome to my first episode of Specialist Guides for the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Beta. Today, we are going to be looking at the Torque Specialist and the way I have been playing Torque is with more of a defensive slash support role because of his two special equipment, which are the Barricade and the Razor Wire. Now, with the Barricade, you mainly want to use it for an objective game-based mode such as Domination, Hardpoint, or Control, and the Barricade is meant to be used as a port portable head glitch and when you set it up it's really important to find a good enough area to maximize the barricade's defensive capabilities because it's only going to last you one minute. So the barricade acts like a long piece of cover and also it can withstand a variety of explosives and the bullets that may come your way. For example in this control game I was getting bombarded with grenades, bullets, you name it and the shield was still protecting me from dying. However, I did take a significant amount of damage, but still it did its job of protecting me from the enemy's projectiles. And you'll also notice that I hunkered down in the corner of a room here, so that way it's even harder for the enemy team to kill me because my back isn't exposed to the flanks or anything like that at all. And if you do happen to take some damage, just go prone, you'll heal up there with your syringes and then attack at full strength. And here's a look at this from the other team's perspective. It's uh, really, really hard for them to see you and try to kill you. Uh, someone that is set up like this, it's going to be very tough to kill them, especially because the barricade also acts like a guardian from Black Ops 3, or a little heat wave that damages and stuns the other team. And uh, so yeah, again, the best way to maximize the barricade's defense is by doing the strategy. Just go in the corner and uh, make sure it's protecting you all around. Now guys, for the razor wire, this can be used for either support or defense or even both. But what I like to do is I will place the wire by a door that tends to get a lot of people running to it. For example, the church on Seaside or one of the buildings on Gridlock. And then I can pretty much cut off that high traffic area and that's what I really love about the razor wire. It's such a good piece of equipment to gain control or even keep control of certain areas on the map. You can also lock down buildings that have one entrance and just really bother the enemy team. Now, if you are on the opposition of the razor wire, the best thing to do would be to destroy it first and then have your team focus it and then work on pushing inside the area. It's not really worth running towards and uh, trying to get through the razor wire. You are gonna take five damage per uh, second basically so it will kill you eventually and uh, definitely the guy that put down the razor wire, wire is gonna know that somebody is stuck in it so uh yeah it's kind of like a spider that notices a bug trapped in its web basically now another really cool little trick i will do sometimes is i'll place down the wire and then crawl up inside of it and by doing that it makes it really hard for the enemy team to shoot me because the wire is pretty much acting like a barrier and the wire already has a ton of health so this is a really fun Fun and effective strategy. I would not do this for the entire game though, but definitely use it because the other team will not expect it. And uh, yeah, in the clips you see on screen, you're gonna notice that the other team has such a difficult time trying to kill me inside the razor wire. This is again a really fun strategy to do, and uh, you do have this kind of protective barrier. Um, like I said, again, it's not really an effective strategy to do every time you get the razor wire, but if you are, say, inside the church on C side you put down the razor wire uh, by one of the entrances you can uh, go prone in there and then pick off the players one by one that try to uh, push you that way so this is my little breakdown of the specialist torque if you guys did enjoy then leave a like and if you would like to see another specialist uh, breakdown I can definitely do that just tell me down below in the comments who you would like to see and yeah thanks for watching guys till next time I'll see you later